everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Runaways. So, in the last episode, uh, we see everyone just trying to deal with everything that has been going on. Um, Gertrude and uh, Chase getting kidnapped, and everything that happened, you know, with Alex and Libby, uh, Nico losing control and not wanting to, um, what's it called? Mess with the staff of one anymore. And everyone is just so stressed out that, um, they didn't know that it was <sighs> Molly's birthday. So everyone forgot about her birthday. Um, and then, what's it called? So they decide that to get their minds off of everything that's been going on, they are going to throw Molly a quinceañera, and they go to Santiali to buy her all this stuff, and they decorate their entire hostel to, you know, look like a dance floor and stuff like that, and they have a short little celebration. Which is interrupted when Gertrude sees Chase leaving because he had gotten a phone call from his father earlier uh, saying that he was dying and that he needs to see Chase right away. So, um, yeah, Chase does his, like, dance as Molly's Chambelan. And then he leaves to go find his father. So, um, he arrives at Pride. And, let's see. Um, he's kind of, like, snooping around and looking for clues a bit. But he also wants to believe that things can work out between them and their parents. So, he kind of goes along with them in saying that he will help to reunite everyone. Uh, the only person that was reunited previously was Carolina um, with her mother because her and the rest of the runaways went to go break her out of her rehab prison thing that uh, what was his name? Frank was keeping her in? Um, and the way that they did that was by Carolina, like, using her magic and showing off what she can do. Well, she's not oh, magic. Whatever. Showing off her powers. Um, and then, you know, her and Nico, they make up. And then they go back to their house. And there is Saban. I think her name was Saban waiting for Carolina to come back and then she tells her that the reason that she's been looking for her is because they're betrothed. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if this means that Carolina is actually going to go into space after all. Um, apparently she's pretty resentful of everything and she actually did want to go even though she said she didn't. And now she has, like, a baby brother on the way, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. Maybe the kid will just be a human kid. But I don't know anymore because, um, Leslie had, like, these weird visions of her being an alien, too. So, I don't know if she has suppressed memories and she actually is an alien. Because that would be kind of hilarious. Or if she was just tripping balls. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm looking for. But anyway, Season 2, Episode 13, Split Up. Let's get started. There is a lot of plot points that they need to, that they need to close up, and I don't think it's going to end cleanly. And Carolina's like, yes! <laughs> the generations. A 
until it was just a thing that is known. The dark hole? The truth. The light they saw was their beloved. Aww, so my sweet! Beloved, my betrothed. Did she just show her that entire little animation in her head? Awesome. Is there maybe a hard copy of this prophecy? <laughs> nice. Awkward. From you, a lot of love chased so much. Yikes. Told with my name on it. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm right She's so proud of her. They're willing to kill their kids. Back up, I've got it. Guys, if that's the case, wouldn't it be better? Sarah twice. Oh, so weird. I decide where I go and who I go with. I love how her mom isn't even questioning this because she hasn't been here for a while, so she has no idea what's going on in Carolina's life. Grace, forever. That might not be such a bad thing. Oh shit. Drama. Wait, what? Blunt physical damage works? What? No matter where we go, what the distance is between us. Nico's mom is just watching all this. They're really making assaults like this in public. That scooter just landed somewhere in the middle of the road, Molly. Damn, Alex, that was so fast. The Wilders don't fuck around though. I mean, he's probably gonna ram Alex's car if he gives him the chance. Fucking Jeffrey. Video games don't replicate real life. What the literal fuck? Is okay, so that's what the Gaborum look like in oh, okay, huh? Dang, Tina, savage. Oh my gosh, he's inside of Victor, he has to be. She just called him magistrate, that's Jonah. I wonder what's happening to old lace. Oh, if only Dale spoke Spanish. Oh shit. Now help me with her extraction. Youngling extraction. Dale is supposed to be so smart, but he really hasn't figured that out yet. Oh, he's running through Chinatown. Alex! What the fuck? He won't do it, right? Oh, okay, this is more like their comic book selves. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Now it's right behind you, Nico. Oh, too late. She's so proud of her. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> he got his parents arrested. He didn't even deny being murderous. <laughs> Fucking Dale, I swear. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 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 It's Nico? Hey, hey, it's 
okay. All right, we're gonna figure it out. Maybe it's inside of Alex still? Cause he like, he's been very cutthroat too. All right, so that was a very cliffhangery ending. Um, that was the finale, <laughs> which means that we don't find out what happens to everyone until season three. And I'm watching this after all this stuff already came out, so I can just go ahead and watch season three next, but that's a pretty, that's a pretty annoying ending for anyone that was watching this as it was coming out. Um, let me think. So that means that Zavin is still going to be in season three. I know from watching Cloak and Dagger that at some point they are going to come and help the runaways, which means that sequentially, um, this is taking place, I assume, simultaneously as the last season of Cloak and Dagger, so... Mm, or maybe, I think Cloak and Dagger is actually a little bit ahead of this show, and maybe by like the midway point of season three is when it'll catch up to when Tandy and Ty got on the bus. Um, and then everything after that point will be in sync. So, man, they must have spent a lot of effects money season three, what with Carlina, Nico, and then the addition of Cloak and Dagger, so... <laughs> Magic Light Show with all of Jonah's family, too. The fucking Giborum. So... Oh, and Zavin, of course. Shape-shifting, and... Then we're probably gonna see a magical baby, like... There's gonna be a lot going on season three. Must have cost some money. If it didn't cost some money, and it's obvious that it didn't cost some money, that would be... That would be bad. That would be some Inhumans TV show flashback stuff. Because that got budget cut so hard. Um, anyway, this was a pretty good season. Lots of teen drama. I feel like there was some moments where... It was pretty obvious they needed to pad the run time. Um, I have no idea what exactly Alex is planning, but it really looks like the... I don't know. It's a really, like, shitty place to end. But, um, what's it called? <sighs> I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to end like this. I was I was even saying, like, in the beginning of this episode, like, they have so much to tie up with Darius's, you know, murder, um, Alex wanting revenge on his parents, Carolina, aliens, you know, Nico, like, corruption. It's, it's, there's too much going on, but at least they didn't try to, like, I think this cliffhanger, them knowing that there was a season three, and them leaving this as a cliffhanger to tell the story more in season three is probably better than them just trying to wrap all of this up and having it not work. Um, so I guess I am kind of glad that they did that instead of, you know, force an ending that would have just been really unsatisfying. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's basically all of my thoughts, uh, for now. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode of this season, and if there was anything that you particularly liked or didn't like from it. And that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all the stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Hey everyone, Letty here. Just trying on another outfit for my winter workout wear try on haul, January 2020. And if you want to see me work out while wearing this gold bowling outfit, you can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that video down there. Bye!